Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here's Google Apps Updates Roundup number 15 and in this video I'm going to show you all the new changes in Google Apps in the first week of March 2021. So let's see what's new with Google Apps but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. First, nearby share. And now it supports the tap to send feature, which means if you want to transfer stuff between two Android phones, all you need to do is to tap them together and the transfer session will start no matter what type of visibility you have under your nearby share settings. For this feature to work, you need to have the NFC turned on on both devices. And as an example, I have here my S21 Ultra. Let me show you my nearby share settings. My visibility is set to hidden and also my NFC is turned on. Now I'm going to try to send a photo from my Pixel 5 to the S21 Ultra. As you see here, it's connecting on the Pixel 5. And on my S21 Ultra, I'm ready to accept the file. And it's done. But keep in mind the tap to send feature won't work if you have your nearby share turned off. So here's the same example I showed you earlier. And when I tap my Pixel 5, nothing happens on any of the phones. Next, Google Photos. And now you will see more collections under Memories. I personally didn't get any of them yet on my phone. However, this is an article from androidpolice.com that will show us three new collections. The first one is called Busta Move for photos and videos of people dancing. The second one is In the Woods that for forests and nature related photos and videos and the third one is best of winter 2020 which is going to show you the best photos you took last winter and on 9 to 5 google there is a new collection called let's play which is going to show you photos related to game bar billiards i personally started to see more stuff under memories and here is a new collage template i found under then and now collection plus this is my first doodles collage uh, under memories I know this one was announced a long time ago, but this is my first time to get it on my phone. Next, Google's AR now supports dual camera. So when you go to the what's new section on the Play Store, you will see here dual camera stereo depth on supported devices. This update was pushed on the 9th of Feb, but I think I missed it. Anyways, this new update will give you better experience when you use things like view animals in 3D from Google search or use Google's own Mandalorian app. So anything related to augmented reality should be better if you have dual camera on your device. Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price, and it's even better in March 2021. There is a big sale campaign till the end of the month, so let's take Windows 10 Pro OAM key as an example. The price after discount is $20.22, but this is not everything. You can get extra 25% discount through the whole month using my special promo code ID20. As you see, you can get an original Windows 10 OEM key for $15.16, which is insanely cheap. All the links for March 2021 sale campaign are in the description below. So let's get back to the review. Next, Nest Hub and Hub Max got three new clock faces. I don't have a Nest Smart Display to show you how they look, however this is an article from 9 to 5 Google showing the three new clock faces. The first two are the same but this is the light version and this is the dark version. The third one is for weather, it will show you a background representing the current weather. To see the new clock faces you need to be on cast firmware version 1.52. And also the steps are mentioned here in case if you want to set any of them. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to check the article yourself. And if you are on the same cast firmware version I showed you earlier, you will be able to swipe down on your screen to get access to your home controls. This new swipe works while you are on the clock or photo frame or in other screens like weather and the music control. Next, the desktop version of Google Chrome. If you are on version 89, now you can search your open tabs. As you see here, I have a lot of tabs open already. And when I click on this small arrow at the top right corner, I will be able to see all the tabs open by scrolling through them, plus a search bar at the top. In this search bar, I can type the name of the website or the title of any page I want to jump to. For example, NVIDIA in my case. 
and when I click on any of the search results, it will take me straight away to the tab I want. Plus you can click on the X next to any one of them to quickly close it from here. Other features you might see in Chrome 89 that I don't have yet on my computer is the new redesigned profile picker page. In this page, you can see multiple profiles set up on Google Chrome and you can choose which one you want to use for now. You will also get a redesigned page for setting up the profile picture and background color. The second feature is the addition of the reading list. In reading list, you can save articles for later use and you can mark them as read or unread using this small tick over here. And the last one is the new install button for progressive web apps. Next, YouTube Studio on the web. If you are a content creator now when you go to analytics and then jump to the audience tab, you will see a new metric called returning viewers. This metric will allow you to know how many views you got from the returning viewers versus new viewers in a specific period of time that you can change from the top right corner. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Google Apps that took place on the first week of March. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.